right, everyone, you are what you drink. So to show us just how much you need and the healthiest ways to keep hydrated, we've got health and wellness expert Bryce Wild. <laughs> because we all know that our bodies are mostly made of water and we're supposed to try and keep them that way but how do you know that you are dehydrated well when you're dehydrated a few things happen you might notice that your skin dries out you get more frequent headaches you might yes. experience hypertension that's high blood pressure I've had a few cases actually patients where over the years they're elderly they're on numerous medications I see them I'm like you know how much are you drinking and I check their urine and lo and behold they're dehydrated I put them on water and no more blood pressure medication. I mean, it could be that easy in some wow. cases. But we rely on water to function. We're 70% water. Yes. You know, but for too long, I think we've over-focused on this general consensus, this rule uh, of eight glasses of water a day. So I'd like to debunk that. That's old military research that was used to conduct those uh, those studies and those outcomes. You're kidding so, me. So yeah, not true? Not true. You might actually need more, but okay. often we need less. And okay. so general rule of thumb, you want to divide your body weight in pounds by half, yeah. and then that is the ounces your body requires on the average day when you're active. So for oh. me, I'm 185 pounds. Yeah. I require roughly 11 glasses of water. Well, I'm not throwing my weight out there. <laughs> well, you don't have to. Let's just say I'll have 8 to 10 glasses a day. There you go. Okay. There you go. But some of us are smaller, and we just simply need less. Okay. I'll tell you the one number one way you can tell whether you're dehydrated or not, though, mm -hmm. is the color of your urine. Yes. Okay? So what do you think? I mean, what, what color is yours typically uh, during the day? Mine like during during the show. By the way, first thing let's in the morning, it's, it. it's first thing in the morning. It's typically a little bit darker, but let's yes, call it, it the second day's night. void. That's right. So let's now, call it the second urine of the day. While I am hosting this show, I drink so much water. By the end of the show, it's this. Yep. Okay. Like it's yeah, completely yeah. clear. So that's. But I'd say it mostly stays in this area. Perfect. I drink a lot of water. So right here is the typical cover: straw yeah. to amber, straw to amber. Right here is the ideal color of your urine. That's if what it's you any want. darker, absolutely. If it's something like this. You may even have an infection. That's, That's a way solid. too. Yeah, so it's got to be. Oh! <laughs> it's apple juice. Come on, it's I apple know. juice. Oh, okay. Yum. It's apple juice. <laughs> Everyone's freaking out in the audience. Anyways, that's my party Aim trick. Aim for that. Aim for that one right there. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So, so the other thing to note is that your fruits and vegetables have a ton of hydration water in them. Yes. Even potatoes are 70% water. Really? So you have to take that into consideration. This is that old, again, that military research. Eight glasses equivalent of a day, but they didn't account for the hydration levels in your fruits and vegetables. Even these Not to mention the greens. antioxidants. Absolutely. These are watery. Well, think about it. When you juice them or press them, how yeah. much comes out, right? That's so, right. We have, so again, focus on your seven colors of fruits and vegetables, red, yeah. orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, every single day. It's a great way to stay hydrated. Lovely. Okay, what yeah. else should we think about when it comes to hydration? The kind of water. The kind of water yes. we're drinking. So, so city water, it might be safe. Yes. And it's clean. Yes. Clean. But it's not pure. Okay. So there's a huge difference between pure and clean. Okay. So pure is when there's nothing, nothing left in your water. And I don't know about you, I don't want to be the one to have to clear those mm -hmm. residues. I don't want my kidneys to have to clear things like cysts or additional bacteria. Uh, for that matter, pharmaceuticals. Yes. So whether you're taking a Xanax or a birth control pill and you're urinating that out into the water, yes. I'm now consuming that if I otherwise don't distill it. Okay, oh. so there's all kinds of water. You know, there's tons of waters out there. Yeah. Oxygen saturated water. I don't know how you put oxygen in water. To be honest, pH balanced water. It's a lot of gimmick and hoax. Mm -hmm. But reverse osmosis mm -hmm. or distillation mm -hmm. takes out 0 0.0001 microns. That's the size of a virus. Yes. Out of your water. Now you're drinking pure H2O. So okay? that's why distilled water is so important. I've never really understood that. That's right. You don't want to be the one that clears the stuff out. So this is a little taste test. You're going to tell me which one you prefer. Is it pee? No, <laughs> it's not apple juice either. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, switch that around. Tastes good. Get in a, okay. And how about this one? It tastes good, but this one actually tastes cleaner. Clean if and there's pure. There's a way you, to. That is reverse osmosis water. So okay. the first one's tap water. Yeah. It's safe. I don't want yeah. people freaking out. They can't drink their tap water. Right. It's more important to stay hydrated, by the way, than to worry about the quality, or rather the qui uh, qual quality of water. Yeah. Reverse, but yeah. it's, it's still, if you have the option, put one in your home. That's now, you'll also, okay. you'll also see a lot of vitamin waters out there. I think so those what's are. What's up with that? Well, you know, first of all, they're gimmick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not getting the vitamins you need. That's your fruits and vegetables. And if necessary, a multi, talk to your doctor about that yes. or your pharmacist. But these guys wait, have way too much sugar in them. Mm. So we're going to teach you a simple at-home way to make your own. Oh, nice. And it's super simple. So what okay. I've added is half a squeezed lemon into mm -hmm. about six ounces of water. Yeah. And then I'm, to that I'm going to add xylitol. This is from oh, yeah. pine bark, Canadian pine bark. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's our sweetener. On the glycemic index it is five, where sugar is a mm -hmm. hundred. Mm. Okay. That's how we gauge the, the quality of sugar. Mm -hmm. Then to that 
we're going to add a thousand micrograms of vitamin B12. Okay. Okay. And you can see that's the color. A lot of these. Uh, these, uh, these drinks that call themselves vitamin water don't even have near the le level of uh, necessary vitamins for the day. Okay. And then a little bit of Himalayan rock salt, about a quarter teaspoon. Okay. Right? Now if you want to give that a whirl. Uh, that is our at home. So this is a good little vitamin water. Vitamin water. Yeah, absolutely. Tasty? Good. Right? Not bad. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you're having lemon water anyways, why exactly. wouldn't you add a few more things to it? Bingo. Yeah. And give yourself a bit of a vitamin boost. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. great. So I don't know about you, but I love... Soda water. Soda water. <laughs> like I'm addicted to this. I so love I add... carbonate. Is carbonated water okay? Yes, it is absolutely. So we talk about a lot about this pH, you know, and how is our bodies becoming more alkaline? Yeah. And there is some evidence to suggest that bubbly water does make you slightly more acidic in the moment. Okay. Right. But seriously, don't worry about it. Don't consider it. Yeah. Two or three glasses, eight ounce glasses a day of you're bubbly fine. water, you're absolutely fine. Okay. I've got one of these guys at home myself, the the Soda Stream. Yes. I, what I love about this is just a one touch technology, and it'll fill up the carbonation. So it's just pressurized, and it's going to add this. I oh, nice. use reverse osmosis water. Yeah. Okay. So RO water, uh, right out of my tap. They can fit them under the sink yeah. into the soda stream. It goes, and now it's bubbly. So you know, eliminate pops, all the extra sugars, absolutely unnecessary. And there you have your bubbly, uh, bubbly water. water. You can add that to. You're going to be our taste tester again. Apple juice. Okay. Right? Simple. Kids would even maybe uh, like that if, if you've already gotten them into pop. Yum. Right? That's so great. This is just simply fizzy orange. Like, you know, I'm going to be so hydrated orange. at the end of the segment. <laughs> your, your typical orangina mm. at your local you know, store is going to go. Really good. That's way over. That's okay. This is a flavor water. You just got to watch your pour. I do. And I'm going to drink I, it anyway. I did not do bartending school. Mm. Uh, right? Yes, that's very good. And uh, so these guys here are simply non-artificial uh, flavored yeah. and organic syrups that you can find at your local health food store. Oh my store. God, they all taste amazing.